Welcome to this peaceful journey through the Psalms. Tonight, we invite you to find rest and solace in the words of King David, whose Psalms have been a source of comfort for generations. Let's begin with Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. O God of my righteousness, Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will shew us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. In Psalm 4, David speaks of God hearing his prayers. Allow this reassurance to quiet your mind and trust in the peace that comes from knowing God listens. Now let's listen to Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. 
for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet because he hath set his love upon me therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high because he hath known my name he shall call upon me and I Psalm 91 is known as the Psalm of Protection. Imagine yourself surrounded by the refuge of the Most High. Feel the comfort and security as you drift into a peaceful slumber. Now let's move on to Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth he will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber behold he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep the Lord is thy keeper the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand the Sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore Psalm 121 speaks of the Lord as your protector as you close your eyes envision these mountains and know that your help comes from above from the maker of heaven and earth 